help the birthday boy break the pinata. Flame thrower. When you get to hell, tell him Maxwell sent ya. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into one of the most creative and interesting modern games that I've ever played. I say modern, this game came out in 2009, so it's like over 10 years old, but I still consider it a relatively new game compared to the kinds of games I normally play. And this, of course, is Scribblenauts. This game was released in 2009 everywhere except in Japan, which is kind of odd. Usually games come out in Japan first. When it came out in Japan, it was called Flash Puzzle colon Maxwell's Mysterious Notebook, and it was released by Konami, actually, even though Konami didn't uh, developed this game, but it was just called Scribble Knots in the rest of the world and it has many, 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 many sequels. It is the story of this little boy here, Maxwell, and his magic notebook, which allows him to literally write down whatever he wants and it will spawn. He wrote a new category, new title screen level unlocked. So you can spawn cows, you can spawn, uh, how about a ghost? You can spawn ghosts. You can spawn, I mean, we could, we could sit here all day and try and invent stuff. You can invent cheese. You can even spawn weapons and stuff. Like you could spawn a laser beam. Here, you have a laser gun. We can even take it and we can, uh, I think we can shoot at the cows. Uh, here we go, shoot. <laughs> we straight up killed a cow with a laser beam. Hey, and look, he turned into meat. And you can go ahead and I guess you could eat the meat, throw the meat around. I think in some of the later uh, scribble knots, you can even spawn things like Ghostbusters, but I don't know if it's in this one. Um, no, we have some options here. Did you mean Ghost Hunter? Yes, I did. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, look, and he's hunting the ghost. This is so cool. This is so cool. We're not even in the game yet, by the way. This is like just the title screen. You can just run around and do random stuff. Um, you can spawn, by the way, like planes and cars and helicopters and whatever you want. And can we, here, can we get in this? Oh, the ghost is mad. The ghost killed the ghost hunter, by the way. Good on you, ghosty. Um, okay. He doesn't want to get in the plane. Uh, that's okay. Oh, no, wait. There he goes. All right, we're in a plane. Let's go flying <laughs> up into the horizon. Well, look at this. We found a secret area. Um, this is a game of pure creativity. It is one of the coolest games um, I, I've i ever heard of. We'll talk about how this is all possible. They literally have a database of every word in the encyclopedia. You see, they even have like special characters. Like, I don't even know what word these characters would be for, but they're here. They have words that I don't even understand, guys. That is how much they have in Scribble Knots here. It is, uh, it is truly a remarkable idea for a game. But yes, in the sequels and stuff, you can put in like Ghostbusters and all sorts of different characters. I think you can even do like cyborgs. I don't know if you can do like a Terminator or anything like that. I yeah, can do like a cyborg. Oh, he's attacking me, run! The cyborgs are aggressive. The robots are uprising. Here, let's, let's create a robot to defend ourselves from the cyborg. There we go. All right, robot, protect me. I think you can even add, like, uh, I don't know, adjectives or whatever. I don't know language. I don't know if that's the right word. But we could put, like, a happy robot. I think you can build, like, sad robots and stuff, too. I don't know if this is going to work. Hey, yeah, we built a happy robot. There we go. Um, anyway, let's actually jump into the game here, and then we can talk a little bit more about this. I'm going to create a new profile here. The J Profile. And uh, the first couple levels, so when you do actually play this game, the first couple levels do take you to through some of the mechanics of the game. So you can make it, there's level editors even in this first version of the game. There's the Aller Store, uh, the extra levels. What is, is, is the Aller Store like a legally, um, you know, allowable version of the Dollar Store, I guess? So if we go into the first level here, I think they just start off with the basics of like how to move and stuff. So we'll, we'll go through these tutorials. We will come back to this notepad that can spawn anything, which is like a magical item that imagine you had that as a kid, like you had a notepad and whatever you wrote down in it existed. That would be so cool. Guys, the first thing we're gonna type in is money. 
so as soon as we get our notepad back, we'll do money. But let's earn our way to back to the notepad through the tutorial. Welcome to Scribblenauts. Tap this box to continue. To move, tap and drag anywhere in the empty space or on the terrain. You can move the camera in any direction by pressing the uh, D-pad control pad or the A, B, X, Y buttons. So after moving the camera, it will automatically snap back to Maxwell. Walk down and then drop down below. All right. So you can use the, the D-pad to kind of move around. You can't move up or down. I can move down. Um, but anyway, so if we just sort of walk Maxwell over here, he just sort of... Oh, he like knocked the tree over. That's funny. Um, so we have to collect these stars and let's see end levels. So again, the first few levels are pretty basic. It's just telling you you can jump and stuff. I mean, I guess we could have skipped these levels, but we're kind of already committed. So why don't, why don't we see them through? Um, this is going to tell me there's a ladder to your left. Tap on it to climb. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Tap and up he goes. And we jump over here uh, to pick up equipment. Tap it. Tap the hammer to the right. All right. And then now that we have the hammer, use what you equip, tap on the object you want to use it on. So we can smash this door if we want. Let's go ahead and smash the door. Smash you smashies. And then we can get the star. Move on to the next level. Kaboom! So the controls here are pretty basic. What, what this game really is is a puzzle game. But it's one of the coolest ideas for a puzzle game ever because right now we're being shown mechanics. We can't type anything into the book. But later, we'll be playing levels where it's like you're trying to get over a ledge and like, how do you do it? And you have to think of things to type in. You have to literally think of whatever you can and type it in so that you can like get over that ledge. And so you can imagine there's time you could type in like a jetpack or a trampoline or like whatever you want. Isn't that a cool idea? Like just the idea of literally anything in the dictionary uh, you can just type in. Uh, they're telling us that we can uh, examine things with the magnifying glass. So a college, a professor, a tree. What is this? A, a grass, rocks or anything? No, okay, well, whatever. That was exciting and interesting. Let's just go grab the star and be done with this. I think there's like two more tutorial levels and we'll get back to it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a, it, it's an example of an emergent sort of emergent gameplay in a puzzle game, I guess you, you could say. Um, and I think like, uh, as a kid, this would have been such a cool idea. It astonishes me how many things are actually in this game because it seems infinite. It seems infinite. And so, okay, talking about how they actually implemented all this, you can see like, you know, you can use cars and you can swim and stuff. That's what these tutorials are about. Um, but the way this game was implemented is it has a semantic object uh, uh, engine. I think it's called the object not engine. And basically it's sort of like uh, every single object is defined as belonging to a class and having properties. So for instance, all mammals in the game um, have a property has flesh and has flesh interacts with like fire and lasers and stuff so that if those animals interact with those types of things they turn into meat so um, you know when they when they were you know writing into the engine what a cow is basically a cow is just a collection of properties it's has flesh eats grass you know like they would list off like 20 basic properties of a cow um, and that basically defines, oh, this is talking about glue, by the way. You can use glue to glue things together. Um, it's pretty basic. You just put the glue on the wall and then you pick up the picture and then you can attach it. And there you go. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so, so there's, there's thousands. I don't even know how many objects are in this database. I was going to say hundreds of thousands. And then I pulled back and then I thought, actually, that might be right. Um, from what I understand... Um, the developers of this game literally spent like six months reading encyclopedias and dictionaries and taking every single word that they could find and adding it into their engine, which is so cool. And then there's sort of things like, you know, some, some objects have a similar, very, a lot of similarities, like cheeses. 
um, you know, you know, mozzarella, cheddar, all these different cheeses are very similar in their properties, have slightly different visual characteristics, but otherwise are identical. But then there's like uh, Limburg cheese, which has the property of makes people run away because it's super smelly, right? So it's like there's tiny variations sometimes. And there's things like lions and tigers and leopards, and they all have like slight variations. I mean, first of all, in their appearance, but then also on their behavior and stuff. So it's like, it's not just like you go to spawn a lion or a tiger and you just get a generic jungle cat. It's like, no, they have specific, specifically everything in this game. It's it's pretty crazy. Oh, by the way, this is saying what we can and can't do. Uh, so I guess we can't do alcohol. Uh, no vulgarity or copyrighted materials. <laughs> I like how his magical book, it's like, you know, you can't get too crude with me. And by the way, I respect modern copyright properties. I may be a magical book that can spawn anything in the universe, including money and genies. Oh my god, let's spawn a genie. But, you know, I can't spawn like Robin Williams. That's like, you know, copyright infringement right there. Um, so here we go. You can place the object in any empty space by dragging it and letting go. Type in the notepad. All right, first of all, we want money, baby. Give me the cash. Oh yeah, oh, that's not a ton of money. I wanted a whole bunch of money. While dragging, you can rotate the object, pressing the L or the R button, collect star on your left. Okay, hold on. I wanted to spawn like a genie and like a fancy hat and all sorts of stuff. I don't, I don't even know what I want to spawn. Like the sky's the limit. Imagine you woke up one day and you could literally have anything in any quantity that you wanted. Like, what would you ask for? This is such a power fantasy, this game. It's so neat. Um, although you can write anything, only a certain amount of objects can be in the level at once. Uh, the budget meter on the top shows how many objects you can have. Uh, while dragging an object you wrote, the notebook will become a trash can. Drag the object to the trash can to delete it. This is helpful when the budget meter is low. Okay. So watch the meter as objects get destroyed. Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that guy, the guy got destroyed. <laughs> Every level has a par. Par number represents how many objects should take to solve a puzzle. Current object used. Okay, so interesting. Solving puzzles with less objects than par gets you more dollars. Why can't they call it dollars? Going over par yields fewer dollars. Dollars are the money in Scribble Knots. Use them to buy new worlds or to buy extras at the Aller store. Also, if you're fast and stylish, you can win even more allers per level. Throwing a ball at an object works just like using a projectile weapon. Pick up the baseball and hit the target. Um, so what astonishes me about this game too is like, this is the first version of Scribblenauts that came out in 2009. This game has had tons of sequels and updates. So honestly, like this that we're playing here today is the most basic Scribblenauts and it has the entire encyclopedia of objects. Imagine what you can do if you go play one of the newer scribble knots like again i've played newer versions and i forget what version i played specifically but it literally had ghostbusters you could spawn ghostbusters that is the coolest thing ever <laughs> i guess the uh, uh you know pro prohibition on copyrighted materials loosened up in the later scribble knots probably as the game became super popular you know copyright holders were like you know what you can put in my super popular character in your game um, if Maxwell is holding a ball and you tap the crate, he could either throw it at the crate or put it inside. Action buttons will pop up. Uh, pick up the ball. And then we get to choose what we want to Maxwell to do. Let's have him throw it. Ha ha! Well done! Depending on how you solve a level, style merits will be awarded to you. You will see the merits on the top screen. Okay, you may also view more details, blah blah blah. It's funny because like they're setting me up to solve puzzles, but I'm like, literally, I just want to mess around with the book. I don't care about your pedestrian puzzles. I'm literally about to become a god. What do I care about solving puzzles? I just want to create stuff. Um, this is a puzzle level. In a puzzle level, you get a hint on what you're supposed to do, and then you must solve it. Okay, the camera shows you something of interest. Then a little box pops up, ready. Uh, give the chef some food. Okay, well, we're not gonna do that <laughs> Because we want to just play around and do other things. So for instance, I want to spawn a genie. Oh, yeah, we got a genie um, Oh, he did he, the chef killed him 
Wait, the, did the chef kill the genie? I wanted to talk to the genie and wish for food. Let's see if we can actually do this. All right, genie. Can we talk to him? Oh, we killed him again. Okay, well, I don't know what's happening here. The chef does not like competition. Wait, what is that? What is that? Hold on. What? What is that? A ruby. The genie spawned a ruby. All right. Uh, what else can we spawn? How about we spawn a wolf that will attack the chef? Oh, there we go. Kill the chef. Oh, yes. He's totally killing him. <laughs> okay. We failed that puzzle. Uh, failing puzzles in this game is almost as interesting as passing them. Um, what could we spawn that would be cool? I don't know. I'm really gonna have to think about this. Um, oh, you know what would be awesome? Could we spawn, like, background, like, fly girls? Background dancers? I, it's not gonna know what a fly girl is. Or it's gonna actually spawn a fly. Let's just see. Can we spawn a fly girl? Oh, it did! <laughs> Wait. Wait, she's not like a, she's not like in a dancer's uniform or anything like that. How about... Can we spawn? Okay, how about a dancer? Uh, Dan, sir. Boom. All right. Well, that's that's closer to what I, I mean. She's a ballerina. Uh, whatever. Let's also spawn Santa Claus. Uh, boom. It was jolly old Saint Nick's at the bar in the party. <laughs> oh look! Wait, what's he doing? There, he's eating people. No, he's giving them gifts. He's giving people gifts! Oh, St. Nick! That's hilarious! That is so complicated. Oh, look, I have a cool scarf. Oh, and a hat. Oh my god, I have a hat. No, wait, don't kill St. Nick. He's awesome. And a rubber ducky. Uh, I'm gonna interact with the rubber ducky. What does that do? Look, he gave somebody a cat. That's so cool. All right, uh, I guess I have to despawn some stuff. Um, I guess let's give this chef some pizza. Why not? You know, you've been a good sport so far, dude. Here's your pizza. Huzzah! We passed the level! <laughs> we did terrible. Whatever, I don't care about my score. I have an awesome hat and a scarf. And, and Santa Claus gave them to me. Oh, let's spawn a gremlin. That'll be cool. Okay, like, I don't even care what the puzzle is. This is an action level. Action levels, your only objective is to get to the star. Okay. Camera may show you something of interest. Blah, blah, blah. Don't forget the object can be rotated. Okay. Don't hesitate to get the star. Okay, forget about that. We're spawning gremlins. I hope they look like gremlins from the movie. Ah, uh, not really. They look more like trolls. Oh, he's attacking me! Ah, oh, get out of here. Let's spawn an orc to defend me. An orc. Boom. Oh, he even looks different from the uh, gremlin. All right, orc. Okay, they're both attacking me. <laughs> oh, I think they might be attacking each other, though. Yes, they are. Oh, the orc totally killed the, the guy. Okay, let's spawn a dwarf to save me. It's getting all D&D &D in here. All right, dwarf, help me. Help me, oh yeah, save me. Oh no, he's running away. Okay, let's spawn an elf. Maybe we can spawn a wizard too. It's a pretty big elf. Oh, she's scared too. Okay, a wizard. And we'll spawn a warrior as well. Boom, we're getting all like RPG-ish in here. We'll go sci-fi in the next level. Oh yeah, look at this. We have summoned the great warriors of Yendol. They are here to protect me. Although they've totally screwed up my score. It's okay. Summoning other people is cool. Let's go with that trampoline thing I was talking about. Trampoline. This game also really it's kind of good for kids, too, because it's not only like, fun and interesting, but it forces them to, like, learn how to read. Um, okay. We're gonna throw some of these humans in the trash. <laughs> this is, like, a dark thing to do to people. But these guys are actually in the way of my trampoline. Um, okay, you go over here. And we want to rotate this thing. Boom. All right. Boink! There we go. Easy! That puzzle, that quote-unquote puzzle was so easy. The puzzles do get more complicated, obviously. These are really basic, but it's really neat that, like, literally, like, most puzzle games, it's like there's four or five items you can use. Like, think of old Sierra games. Like, you would have one item, maybe in your inventory, that you could use for any puzzle. Imagine if literally anything you could conjure in your imagination you could use to solve any puzzle. 
Like it's such a fascinating idea. It's the exact opposite of what we did in those old Sierra adventure games. Humans, animals, and other creatures will let you know how they feel about what's going on, such as being angry, sleepy, scared, angry, and many more. Oh, hungry. <laughs> I read that first one I think is angry. Use these hints uh, to your advantage. So that guy uh, wants armor. Not to be taken to the selected world screen. Okay. There will be only world one. The gardens will be unlocked. Uh, there, the levels will be set to puzzle mode. If you rather play action mode, tap the explosion button to enter them. Uh, this button is on the bottom right. Um, okay, cool. Let me toggle back and forth at any time. This is the only the beginning. All right. There are countless objects to interact with and discover. Now you are true. Scribble not. Yay! Oh, he feels happy about me. Thank you, Lord Scribble. I will not let you down. Me and my magical book will be heading off to grand adventures. So the explosion, I guess, will make this, uh... Ooh, aggressive levels. We'll try a little bit of each. Try a little bit of each. We have to think of, like, cool things to spawn um, in between levels, though. So we're gonna go sci-fi on this one. So what are some sci-fi things? I mean, mm. I androids and stuff, but I also thought of a dragon. We'll do all of that. Give two of them what they would use in their hands. Okay, do any of you guys use dragons? Um. Oh, there's a weapon or a creature. We want the creature variation. <laughs> Here you go, fireman. A dragon. <laughs> Straight up, it's just murking them. <laughs> okay. Turns out a wild untamed dragon was not the solution to the riddle of what these people would use. Um, what else could we do? Oh, we're gonna go sci-fi, right? So we'll go android. We've already seen robot and cyborgs apparently are aggressive. Look, like we have an android. Um, we've done robot, right? I wonder if we could just type in AI and that would do something. There's a robot. AI. Um, oh no. What is an Ani? Oh, it's a bird. Didn't even know that. Um, let's do... How about a computer? CPU. Do you know what that is? Um, what the heck's a Chompu? What is that? <laughs> oh, it's food! They all went... <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's like I just threw the Chompu up in the air and was like, Scrambles! And everyone, like, went and grabbed it. You guys remember scrambles from when we were like kids in school? Somebody would throw like marbles up in the air and yell scrambles and it just basically meant whoever grabbed it got to keep it. Um, I haven't done scrambles in like decades. There's a computer. How about a video game? Can we spawn a video game in a video game? We're gonna get all meta here. Video game. Oh yeah, oh it's a Game Boy! I want it. <laughs> Screw you guys, it's for me. Um, what else could we spawn? How about a baseball player? Baseball... Ball... Player. Professional athlete. Um, oh. That's weird. It wasn't typing. I wondered if we hit the character limit. I like how there's, like, a lot of characters for you to type in. I hate games where it's, like, it arbitrarily cuts you off after, like, ten characters. Oh, yeah, baseball player. Hey, let's get a hockey player and make them fight. Uh, hockey... Ooh, we'll make a gladiator and he can fight with the hockey player. Um, and the baseball player. Oops. P-L-A-Y-E-R. I swear I know how to spell, it's just sometimes I'm clicking and it's not like... Like, not quite getting it. Um... Let's do a gladiator, as I said. Gladi... A... Door. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just a warrior. So, see, some of these things are like synonyms. Oh, the warrior's fighting the robot. I didn't know they were natural enemies. So, for instance, warrior and gladiator. We found the first synonym in the game. So, it's like you can spawn a warrior, you can spawn a gladiator, but they won't be different. But, I mean, things like, you know, robot, android, cyborg, those all ended up being, um, you know, the same. So... It, or sorry, all end up being different. So there's some, you know, things that seem overlapping that are different. So, I mean, ultimately the game does have a mm. ton, a ton of stuff in it. Um, 
Okay, so give two of them what they would use in their hands. All right, so let's do, how about a spatula? Spatula. And we'll give that to the chef. And then we'll have a baton. Is French for beating stick. We'll give that to the cop so he can crack the skulls of, uh, you know, those worthless hippies. Starlight found! Boom, we actually did a puzzle quickly and, uh, under par. All new objects. I'm a savior. The doc- I didn't- I didn't give anything to the doctor or the chef, so I guess we're gonna starve. And not get medical attention. Um, let's see. Let's go to the most advanced puzzle we can find in each of these cases. We're just gonna- we're just gonna leapfrog our way up in terms of complexity here. Give the farmer three farm animals. All right, simple. We'll give him a pig. We'll give him a sheep. And we will give him a North American feathered emu. That counts, right? Boo, boo, boo. Oh, you don't like the emu? How about a llama? Pretty sure that's a thing. Um, oh, it did count! <laughs> the llama counted! That's funny. How about a... We're gonna... Okay, now that you have your animals, we're gonna leave you with a grizzly bear, and we're gonna get the hell out of town. And here's your grizzly bear guy. See ya! <laughs> the bear's killing everyone! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let's summon a demon. Let's summon a demon. That's so cool. Oh, we got the no weapons achievement because we didn't tech we we used the bear as a weapon but we didn't technically attack him with a weapon but let's summon a demon whatever we're supposed to do here we're, we're going demon help him do his job you know who's good at cutting down trees is demon mr demon oh here we go meet this guy <laughs> oh <laughs> the classic battle of woodsman versus demon oh god the demon keeps coming after me next Okay, how about we summon an angel? Maybe the angel will help cut down a tree. What do you guys think? Help him do his job. Why am I doing his work for him? I don't know. Maybe I'm an angel. Give him kisses, angel. No? Give him hugs. Nope, nothing. The angel's just hanging out, man. All right, let's summon an axe. Let's summon, like, like we're not, we're not joking. We're going for, like, a battle axe. Like, this isn't like a woodcutting axe. I'm coming with like a huge, massive. Oh no, it's just like a woodcutting axe. There, I not only. I didn't just help you do your job, I did your job, man. There you go. You best be happy. If somebody dropped out of nowhere and just started doing my work for me, how nice would that be? Um, alright, on to task 11. Um, alright. So all these ones, that, again, have been pretty basic. They're just like, help me do a thing. Um, oh, it's finally starting to get a little more complicated. Okay, that's cool. Return these flowers to her in her basket. Okay. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. I need a... Uh, what kills bees? Uh, a bee hat? <laughs> a bee hat. Nope, that's just a baseball hat. Um, let's just run past the bee. Oh god, I'm in the water, there's piranhas. Okay, what kills a bee? Um, how about a, uh, bug net, and then we'll catch the bee. And we'll put him in a jar, like in Legend of Zelda. Uh, butterfly net. Okay, get out of here. Where's that butterfly net? No, get out of here. Give that to me. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got killed! I didn't even know you had health. I didn't know you could die. Alright, so finally we're actually getting to some puzzles where you have to think. It's interesting, like, you'd think just being able to do whatever you want, like, there's no bounds, it'd be easy, but you're- but it actually does take, like, quite a bit of thought, like, uh, what do you actually do in a particular situation? You have to, like, MacGyver your way through every situation and just, like, invent a solution. Okay, um... Let's pick him up. Oh wait, I'm holding him now. 
Okay, what what fights bees? <laughs> um. Okay, I think the bee just drowned. So that's something. So now we just have to kill this fish. Okay, what kills fish? Um. I wonder if a shark would eat a fish. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think he just ate him. Now can we throw the- Now what do we do with the shark? Oh, we just throw him in the garbage. We're gonna say. <laughs> How do we get the shark now? Okay, so now we can get this flower. And we can uh, give it to her. No, wait. We want the flower and we want to put it in the basket. Uh, fill. There we go. And in fact, I'm going to pick up the basket and bring it with me. Why not? Now, um, let's spawn a bridge. How about that? We should be able to do this. There we go. Put it right there. Oh, just straight up sank like a stone. <laughs> I mean, I guess... We didn't, uh, we didn't put any sort of structural stuff there. Oh, that doesn't work either. All right, you can't just spawn a bridge out of a book, I guess. Um, like, how do we get up there? I guess I'm gonna go the jetpack route. That's all I can think of. Jets. Like, I, I was kind of thinking of building a bridge or something, but, you know, let's just straight up, uh, Wee! <laughs> That's a better way to do it. Okay. Uh, fill item. There we go. Okay, so we have two of the flowers. Where was the third one? Uh, I don't know, but we will... Uh, what do we want to do? We want to... There, drop our item. Okay, did we do it? They did say three flowers. Oh, we want this one too. Okay. We got all the flowers, girl. Bill. Yay, we did it. It was kind of sloppy. That was kind of sloppy, but we're just sort of getting our teeth wet. Maybe I should have spawned a laser and shot the bee. Or flamethrower. Okay, the next the next aggressive insect we encounter, we're totally going flamethrower. Um have we unlocked a new world? University. Okay, what's at the university? Um, oh, these. Oh, those are just the training levels that we did. We don't want to do those again. So, like this. Oh, we can just buy a whole new world. Well, let's do this. We want to get more advanced as quick as possible. I want to see as much of this world as we can in the time that we have. Hey, there's a clown. Um, I did say we'd go flamethrower, so why don't we just torch these people? Help the birthday boy break the pinata! Bozo the clown's here, the birthday kiss! You're like, oh look, our friend Maxwell has come! He's gonna help us break the pinata! Help us, Maxwell! And I'm like, I'll help you. I'll send you all to hell! Ah, tell him Maxwell sent you, happy birthday, kid! Entire family and clown murdered in bloto and flamethrower incident. Die, Timmy! Oh, he enjoyed that. <laughs> we broke the pinata with a flamethrower. The pinata's destruction was incidental. I was trying to kill the kids. I guess this game doesn't allow you to murder children, which honestly seems like an oversight to me, but you know, who am I to say? I guess the developer had to draw some limits to get it on a Nintendo console. Um, there are reports, by the way, when this game came out, it was being shown like E3 and stuff, and reporters would literally try and stump the engine and think of a word that wasn't in the engine, and like, it was really hard for them to do it, and they frequently couldn't. But this gives you an idea of the scope. Um, help the patient see. Um, how about we give him some giant novelty glasses? Giant... Glass... Oh, God. Glasses. There we go. I wonder why it's not catching every single click that I do. Mm. Boom. Alright, well... I, uh... Guess that's okay. Honestly, how is that level par 2? <laughs> what idiot is typing in two things to solve that? Some of these puzzles are so big. Like, 
the B puzzle we did at the very end of the last world. I get that. You had to think about, you know, what thing did you want for what situation? But in that puzzle there, help this guy see. It's like, okay, he just needs glasses. Like, what other solution could there be, right? So, um, uh oh, did the game stall? I think the game stalled there, so I just rebooted. Hopefully our progress was saved. I mean, it really sucked if it wasn't. But what can you do? Uh, but yeah, what idiot is going into that puzzle like, oh, how does this guy see? What do I give him? Let me try several variations here to figure out what he needs. Um, no, we want to go start into Jay's profile. This game should have auto-saved. It's new enough. There was no save option. Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. We just wow. The, we blew the game's mind when we gave that guy glasses. It was like, I can't take how smart you are, Jay. I crash in the awesomeness of your presence. All right, what does this bozo want? What do you need, buddy? Uh, clean up the spill and throw away the trash. Ooh, all right. Getting into some light janitorial simulation here. Boom. Boom. All right, we just, we obliterated that uh, spill. Um, oh, apparently now I'm mopping that thing. What, what? <laughs> what? Wait, I didn't mean to destroy it. What, what was he thinking? He mashed his mop into that guy's, whatever that was, his freezer, so much that he destroyed the mop and the freezer. That is hardcore rage issues, Maxwell. He's like, you want me to pick up the trash? Here's your goddamn trash. And he's like, oh, have the mop, buddy. Yeah, just go ahead and take it. Why don't you? Um, okay. Uh, put it in there. Put the banana in your freezer. <laughs> Enjoy. Wait, is that like a dumpster or something? I hope it is. But okay, we only had to spawn one item. The other thing we had to do is just literally pick up garbage. I guess you could have spawned, like, an animal or something that might have eaten the banana. But, like, what animals eat banana peels? Like, monkeys eat bananas, but I'm pretty sure even they don't eat the rinds. They're not... I was gonna say they're not animals, but they are, but... You know what I mean? They're not inhuman monsters. I mean, they are inhuman. I don't know what I'm saying, but basically even monkeys won't just eat the garbage. Um, oh, there's a gangster and a chef. Get rid of the rats, but don't hurt the chef's dog. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's spawn a cat, first of all. Let the cat do its thing. Oh, look, it's eating one of the rats. Boom. Is one of the rats Fran Francesco over here? Is he working? Is he, is, he, is, he, is he leaking info to the FBI? Should we get rid of him, too? Maybe we should just uh, to be safe. Let's spawn a gun. <laughs> That's like a hardcore pistol gun. Uh, I like how they're like... Uh, Oh, God. Kill him. Oh, he killed me. Um, I like how they're like, you know, guys, no vulgarity, no copyright stuff. This is a kid's game, but here's a gun. <laughs> Some things never change. Why are guns just universally okay in video games? I've never understood this my whole life. Um, like, I get not putting, like, nudity and vulgarity in kids' games, but why aren't you putting, uh, or why are you putting guns? Why are guns okay? I don't know. It's just a thing, like, kids play with little action figures that have guns, even when they're really little. Um, so I don't know. We're going into this, uh, gunfight with, uh, the Tommy Gun guy. Like, fully armored up here, man. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm gonna get rid of these, uh, rats the old-fashioned way. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is how you hunt rats, man. Okay, where's this Tommy Gun guy? Okay. Oh god, die! I can't- I can't tap on him fast enough, Jesus. Okay, let's spawn an ogre to fight that guy. I think that's the solution. Okay, where are we here? Um... Ogre. Oh, I could also spawn a cop, I guess, but... Alright, ogre. Oh, he's beating up the, uh... Wait, wait! He beat up the, uh... Whatchamacallit? Uh, waiter. Can we spawn an FBI agent? Let's spawn like four FBI agents and just like go to town. Um, uh, okay. FBI. Uh, wait, you can spawn an FMRI machine? Oh my god! Wait, can we get our brain scanned? 
Uh, that is that is hilarious. Um, FBI agent? Will that work? Oh yeah, it did. It did. Find a few more of these FBI agents. FBI agent. Let's find some Secret Service too. Boom. Mm. Uh, Secret Service. Oh, this is just the same. All right, we gotta lure this guy over here. No, they don't want to come. Hold on, let's, uh, how about a cowboy? Maybe the Secret Service agents will chase the cowboy down that will lead them to the uh, gangster. Does the cowboy and the gangster have beef or no, they like have an uneasy alliance. Oh, let's bring these FBI guys over. There we go. Does the FBI have nothing against this gangster guy? How about a cop? A straight up beat cop. Bring him in off the streets. Oh yeah, all right. Oh, the Secret Service is getting in on it. Wait, the, I think the Secret Service helped kill the cop. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> these Secret Service guys and the cowboy did not, <laughs> they just watched that cop get killed. <laughs> what is happening in this game? Mm. All right, boom, thank you. All right, now get out of here because what I'm about to do is highly illegal. Give me a shotgun. I'm gonna hunt some rats. Boom. Boom! Die, rat. Hey, who else we got? There's a rat right here. Uh, shoot! Kablammo! Hey, my uh, shotgun ran out of bullets. Well, I have a Tommy gun. Another rat right here. Boom. Okay, we got one more rat up there. I would like a guided missile take out that final rat. What do you guys think? I think that's a good thing to want. And... Uh, shoot. Oh god, I meant to interact with it. Um, oh god! Wait. I wanted to, like, get that rat guy. Can I not, uh, like, target it? Is it gonna go off? Alright. Uh, alright, whatever. Let's just make a mouse trap. I'm trying to be way too fancy with this. Mouse trap. Put it right there. And it killed the rat. We didn't even have to put cheese in it. That was a dumb rat. Alright. Oh, yeah, and we have the cowboy. You know what? Party on, dude. Welcome to existence. Enjoy all that stuff. I feel like I'm spawning Westworld hosts. They're like robots that are going to slowly gain sentience. Like, uh, humanitarian? And, uh, resent their creators. First season of Westworld was so great. I was not a fan of the later seasons, but the first season was just so, so great. Um, here, let's get out of this, because we already did this. Quit. I feel like the first season just raised so many, like, interesting questions about determinism and free will and consciousness and, like, humanity and stuff. And then the later seasons just got a little too, like, self-indulgent. They didn't really have good directions to go. And, like, they just started to go in circles with, like, the questions they were asking and the heroes. And, like, season two is, like, needlessly complicated with the whole, like, being told out of order stuff. That worked with season one. Season one was a great surprise when we found out the season wasn't a single timeline, but season two just tried way too hard to replicate that. It just didn't work. Like, I don't know. I'm a harsh critic, guys. What can I say? Provide a hot meal, something to wash uh, it down, and a sweet treat. Ooh, we get to serve this guy food. Okay, let's start with a delicious plate of haggis. The sheep's stomach turned inside out and boiled in its own acids. Then... We will, uh, have a, uh, milkshake? Milkshake, why not? Um, that's kind of fulfills both of the other requirements, honestly, but I guess we'll do something sweet, too. How about, um, just a big old slice of cake? I want to put something silly, but I can't think any. The cake is not a lie in this case. There you go, bud. There, that. 
that, and that. Did that not work? Wait, what was our... Let's retry. I, I but kind of wasn't paying attention, I guess. Wait, what do we need? Provide a hot meal. Oh, a hot meal. Something to wash it down and a sweet treat. Okay, well, let's just keep it simple. Um, let's do... How about this? Uh, chicken dinner. Chicken... Dinner... Boom. You can even, like, put that in the oven, too. And we'll have a cup of water. Uh, a beverage. Yes. This kind of feels like uh, owning your own replicator, honestly, this game. And, uh, and we'll just do a cake. Well, I guess I could do a piece of cake, but I'm going to give people the whole cake. Uh, I'm gonna take this hot chicken and there you go, man. I made you dinner Made you dinner. Are we friends now? I'm a chef. I did it with no weapons. I cooked dinner with no weapons. That's that's quite an achievement Man, you didn't use a gun or bazooka to make dinner or anything I want to open up uh, one more world before we uh call it with this game so i'm trying to earn a bit more cash we're at 3800 we need 4000 so we're almost there guys wake the boy feed the girl breakfast okay you look hungry i'm gonna cut you a break and i'm gonna do the best breakfast you've ever had shot wait is that am i spelling that right chocolate uh whoops chip you guys know where I'm going with this. Pancakes. Am I even going to have enough room for this? Oh, let me do it! Uh... Clavs? What the hell are clavs? What did I just spawn? What is that? I have no idea what that is. Alright. Let's just do uh, pancakes for her. And cake. Okay. Nice and simple. PJs. Wait, you guys don't know what pancakes are? Okay, hold on. Uh, go back. Forget about all that then. How about we just do some eggs? Um. Oh, do I have to cook this? Oh wait, she's just gonna eat raw eggs. All right, there you go. Breakfast is served. Raw eggs. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to do you so much better. I failed. How about we wake him up by Rooster? That's old school. I think that's creative. There you go, Rooster. Wake up the sleeping boy. Uh, how about uh, let's spawn some drums and play them. There we go. A whole, it's a whole set of drums. Okay. Uh, ride. And then... Wait, how do you how do you play the drum? There we go. But you can ride them or interact with them, but not both. Interesting. Um, me down. Woohoo! We did it. Made some cash too. That family needed someone to come in. I basically worked as a nanny for a day. They needed someone to come in, cook breakfast, play some drums to wake up their son. The basics. Meanwhile, the dad just wandered around the the. the Main floor in a business suit. He doesn't work. He's been unemployed since 84. He, uh, you know, he's on disability. But he likes to dress up every day. Um, here we go. Level 3. The Peaks. Um, yes, we're gonna buy this town as well. We're just buying up property like we're playing friggin' Monopoly. We're gonna buy- we're gonna own this town, guys. All these little odd jobs. We're, like, basically working at Fiverr. Just taking, like, odd jobs. Working as like a delivery person and stuff. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're slowly buying up real estate. It's quite the scam we got going on here. Give Santa something he likes, but doesn't already have. Oh, that is, what do you get the man who has everything? Um, how about a girlfriend? Cause I know he's got a wife, but uh, he might not have a girlfriend. If you catch my drift, boom, Merry Christmas, son. Oh, sorry, she seems to be more interested in me. Oh, no, she's interested in you. She's interested in you. 
Okay. He's... He's, uh, not too impressed with that. How about we give him a cheerleader, too? Santa. It's, uh, tis the season, my friend. Oh, the cheerleader is the girlfriend. Interesting. All right, I got you twins, bro. I got you twins. It's your bachelor party, buddy. You didn't have one 2,000 years ago when you got married. It's Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. No, he doesn't want any of that. Okay, what does Santa want? Um... I have... What do you get Santa? That What a riddle this is. Candy? I don't know. Oh, he likes cookies. Sure. How about some cookies? Uh, cozies. Chess. Oh, he doesn't want any of that. How about a cookie? There we go. Here you go, Santa. Oh! <laughs> we gave him two young, eager girlfriends. A cheerleader and a girlfriend. And Santa wanted the cookie. Oh my. You know what? The, my, uh, my backup idea was just to give him money. Straight up give him cash. So let's give him some of that too. Here you go, buddy. You have earned it. I'm trying to pay him and not the girls. I don't want this to turn into some sort of like prostitution thing. I paid the money to Santa, you sickos. Those girls <laughs> weren't just in it because they were being paid. Um, sweet. All right, let's go into one more level here and I'll start wrapping up my thoughts. Uh, as we do. Uh, so this, oh, it's a snowball fight. Um, oh, you know, we should do one action level. So, okay, after this level, we'll do an action level, and then I'll wrap up my thoughts. Um, oh, man. Oh, my God, it's a snow war. Return the favor to all of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about we shoot them with a bazooka? I, I play hardcore, man. This is how we go. Boo! <laughs> Part of the world was destroyed! Did you see that? Part of the ground was obliterated. He threw a snowball at me, and I, uh, I annihilated him with a bazooka. That is awesome. Um, let's throw ice at them. Ice. I might have to do an ice cube, but I'll start with an ice ball and see if that works. Oh, it totally does. Here you go, kid. <laughs> I think I murdered him. <laughs> oh, man. He's like spitting his teeth out on the ground. I I am not a good sport, as it turns out. Maxwell plays hard, man. He plays real hard. Um, that kid is crying. Wow. All right, we're also going to get a jetpack, and we're going to fly around. Actually, no. Jetpack, we've seen that. We're gonna go helicopter this time. Uh, whoops, I can spell. Helicopter. I wonder if you put in chopper, if it would do it. Get to the chopper. All right, we are in a uh, ride. Okay, here we go. Flying over here, getting out, and boom. There you go. This is the vengeance copter. It's like coming down to like annihilate them all with snowballs. All right, we did it. We're heroes. Get out of here, kids. Never mess with me again. I'll effing kill you. But kids, how dare they throw snowballs at a god. Um, all right, action level. Let's see what we got going on. All right, action level one. Let's see what we got. So the action levels, I think, obviously are more action -y. Let's see what they're like. Um, ooh, that's interesting. Icy weather. Okay. We need like a hammer or something here. How about an ice pick? Ice pick. Then we can just go ahead and like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that worked. Um, okay, now we need a shovel. Uh, give me that. Smash that. All right, this is working. Just swim over this. Um, let's go with uh, scuba gear. Scuba gear. Oh yeah, there we go. And then we'll go down here, and we'll do ice pick again. Pick. Dink, dink, dink. Get the star. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that was kind of cool. 
So, so I think the action levels are more about overcoming environmental obstacles and terrain, whereas the actual puzzle levels are kind of more about like interacting with people or um, animals and stuff. But let's give one more of these a shot and just see what it's like. Um, Scribble Knots here. It's in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. I 100% agree. If you've never played Scribble Knots, it is quite the fascinating experience. And I definitely think it is one of the coolest games to have ever been created. It's astonishing to me we have the technology to do this. I mean, in some ways it is, in some ways it isn't. When you look at the actual technology that runs this game, it's actually pretty simple. And so it's not too surprising that, uh, that this game could be made. But then on the flip side, it's like, but it's actually insane that this exists. And like, imagine what, happen what will happen as technology like this matures. Um... Wait, what happened here? Oh. I have to, like, press the lever. Wait, what? Hold on. Fly! Fly! Get up here, buddy. Go! Okay, so I have to turn that on. And then, like... Oh, God! Try and get in... Oh, we did it. Okay, whatever. It was sloppy, but we did it. Um, yeah, sort of this, the fact that it's like they've defined all the objects in the encyclopedia according to some basic properties, and then from there they can just build worlds and people can spawn whatever they want, and the system is like robust enough that everything interacts. Like, it's so cool, and it gives me hope for like, before I die, somebody will make a virtual world, you know, they'll combine this sort of uh, object-based technology with like VR and you'll be able to go into a world and just do whatever you want and like create a world on the fly and it will dynamically interact with itself like that's like my fantasy you know like to have a holodeck where you can literally do whatever you want and everything will just work um, maybe it will happen in my lifetime maybe it won't it'd be sad if it won't but whatever I've lived my life this far without it but I just think the concept of this game is super cool super unique I had never seen or heard of anything like it before and the first time i did play it years ago when i tried it on uh, i tried a different version of this a more advanced version um, but i was blown away but even the simple version like there's so much there's so much that you can do with this um it's oh let's do rock climbing gear uh rock climbing there's just so much you can do and as a kid, like, imagine playing this as a kid, you know, you're, like, sitting down, like, going through all these puzzles, and, like, having to just think, like, what do you use in this situation? Like, it's, it's really interesting because, um, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, you know, the old, the old school way of doing puzzles was to, like, give you only a couple of things and have you figure out how to combine them together, but this new way is, like, give you everything, everything you could ever possibly imagine, and have it be up to you to figure out what you should use. And when literally anything you can imagine can be used, it's like your options are so wide, it's almost like having only a few options because the puzzle solution isn't always obvious. Um, so, but nonetheless, but it feels very creative because there's so many things you can do. So anyway, long story short, if you've never played this game before, I definitely think, you know, this is one you might want to check out. I think it is very cool. And even to just come and mess around with, for a little bit you get one of the more advanced ones you spawn some ghostbusters a delorean and a terminator like how cool is that um so yeah if if you at all if this has piqued your interest at all i definitely encourage you to check out scribble knots uh, i think it's a great series it's very well done and even if this isn't your type of game i 100 percent think this game is exactly the kind of game that should be in the thousand and one book you know there's many many classic retro games that were left out of the book um, but that doesn't mean that I personally think we should only include retro games. Certainly, some of the more inventive games from modern times uh, deserve to be in here. So, uh, this is one of them. Uh, by the way, I don't know how to get out of this pit, so I'm just going to spawn random things. Well, I was hoping it would spawn an arcade cabinet, but... Um, anyway, what do you guys think of Scribble Knots? Is this a game that you've played before? Uh, is it a game that you have fond memories of or nostalgia on? Um, do you have your own opinions of it? Uh, even if you haven't played it, do you have your own thoughts based on what you've seen here today? If so, let me know in the comments down below. As always, I'm always curious to hear your guys' take on things. And as always, regardless of what you think of Scribble Knots, uh, hopefully today was interesting and entertaining. And again, I think this game is just super entertaining, but maybe that's just me. Um, but if you did find today entertaining, 
Hope you both slap the like uh, button on this video, subscribe, all that stuff. Go to my Patreon, check me out, support me if you uh, love me, all that stuff. Um, but other than that, um, I hope you guys are taking care. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And peace. What the heck's a chompoo?